up guys making some progress with the uh, Celerius printer all right so let me show you the hot end I already have it installed but I'll go through um, what it looks like in CAD so I'll try to give you some ideas what I was thinking when I, when I designed this thing so right now I have two different designs I have a uh, Bowden setup and I'm also gonna have a direct drive setup but I'm I mean, there's some benefit. There's definitely benefits of having Bowden, but the main negative of a Bowden setup is uh, retraction. Um, you, know, you have a little play inside the the PF, PTFE tube, so you have to pick up that slack or, or play in the tube. Uh, so you need to compensate that for it in retraction. But I'm going to be printing at such high speeds that I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of retraction. I might even just have it disabled, so that might not even be an issue. So I'm going to start off with Bowden, but it's really just a, I mean, I can really, I've designed this to easily put a Sherpa on here or something really super light. Um, so let me show you this real fast. So it's going to be running a V6 hot end. Um, I'm mean, obviously I'm not going to be using this nozzle. I already have a, um, a volcano nozzle on there, and I'm also designing some other nozzles. I think I showed you in some other, um, here we go like the air directing uh, nozzle here. Um, but right now, I just it was cheap. It cost me $8 to buy a uh, um, a uh, hot end, like a, like a volcano hot end. It came with the nozzles and sock and everything. So it was just to get it started and running. Um, I have a volcano on there. But it's a 30 millimeter fan. Um, uh, 30 millimeter fan is definitely cutting it close um, when it comes to like heat creep and stuff. I mean, if it's perfectly ducted, it's not a big deal, but um, what you don't want to do is put, like, some fancy grill on here because any sort of, like, restrictions on a 30 millimeter fan will, you know, create heat creep issues. It just won't be enough cooling. I mean, 40 millimeters is adequate, like on my other printer. I mean, you know, if 40 millimeters preferred, I should say, um, over the 30 millimeter. But here we go. I'm going to wrap some wires up around here. That was the idea, the concept, and that's going to be the umbilical... So, I mean, really, it's just three wires. It's the fan wire, uh, the heater cartridge, and the thermistor, and that's it. So I have three different things running back. No probe, no part cooling fan. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the idea is to keep this thing light. Um, take some of these things off here, the bodies, so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's the hot end in there. Yeah, it just snaps right in. It just everything I've designed here was to reduce weight. This whole thing is kept together with two screws. See right there? There's just two screws that go through, and that's it. Like even this, I, I even tried to reduce screws here and here, just the because it doesn't need it. The thing is so light, it doesn't need a lot of screws. Um, so here, here's a, there's a little notches for that little brass insert, the brass bushing. The brass bushing is tiny. Um, so who knows how long, like long term, you know, if I'm going to develop a bunch of play in the rods. Um, I'm already even researching doing going to 12 meter, 12 millimeter rods. So right now I'm currently running eight. Um, I'm looking at different, different brass, gra oil, oil, or the bronze impregnated, you know, oil, oil impregnated bronze with graphite inserts, self lubricating. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, pretty basic. Just uh, it's kind of a yeah, Bowden PTF YouTube coming out. All right, let me uh, go out to the printer. I'll show you in real life what it looks like. Like I said, I'm just almost done with the printer. I'm just finishing up some things. Uh, I'm also going to make a video about the air box, the uh, part cooling air box. All right, let's go back out to the printer, and I will show you what I got going. And yeah, here it is. So I'm making progress on it. So there is uh, and. You can see how tiny it is. This little bowden tube. I still got to wrap the wires up here. You know, this stuff. But I mean, take a look from the top. Let me see if you can see it in the camera. Yeah, this thing is tiny. And then for the, uh, I, yeah, the mount I designed. Um, basically, it's going to run a, B or a BMG extruder. Um, and since I don't have to reduce weight, I mean, why, why skip on the motor? I'm going to need a strong, powerful motor so this thing doesn't actually uh, get overpowered. So I think it's a 40, 48mm NEMA 17. I mean, there's no reason to do a pancake or a NEMA 14 because I don't, I'm not, I don't have to reduce weight. So I'd rather have the extra power to push through 
you know? I'm gonna be pushing a lot of filament through this segment here. I can also, if this doesn't work right, I can also flip this around, clock it a different direction. If this is too much, uh, too, too much binding here. So when I designed that, I knew I might be clocking it differently. Um, all right, there, there it is. So, ultra light. I might need to, like I said, the 12 mm rods. Um, you know, there is a little bit of play in here. I mean, but it's actually the play is more like in the, in here. So I need to address that. Um, like the play is more into this moving here, like that right here. Um, which is those, what's it called? Those, uh, the, the eye gets bearings. These things are not exactly uh, tight clearance. Um, but I said, I mean, I want to reduce weight, but I think eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the oil impregnated bronze bushings on these the rails too, the steel rails. Um, I'm going to be adding some weight to it, but I mean, you can't have that kind of slopping like that. Well, we'll see the high speeds, but when you're when you're when you're printing, you know, uh, I'll go through the z-axis too. What I've done with the z-axis, um, but you know, you're pushing up, so you're this is going to be having this is going to have upward force on it when you're extruding stuff and you're trying to get a nice flat layer. So that's going to actually have up force. So that's going to pick up some of the slack. But I mean, these carbon fiber tubes are not perfect. You know, it's. Um, so like I said, I might be messing with some 12 millimeter rods. All right, oh, obviously you can see the air box, but I'll go through the air box in another video. The part cooling fan, as you can see. All right. I mean, I'll show you how I wire it down too. All um, right, making progress. I'm almost done with this thing actually. Got the camera on there, right there. Um, I'll just a camera on there. Um, all right, cool. I mean, I actually, I, I appreciate. I like the comments, man. I mean, there's some, some, some of the comments have given me good ideas, you know. Like, I, some, something I didn't think about, you know. Sometimes I don't see stuff. Sometimes I don't see obvious stuff. So I, I do definitely appreciate the comments or the ideas, suggestions. All right, guys, cool. Having fun.